Hello everyone, in this video I will be discussing about the external jugular vein. There are two superficial veins of the neck. They are the EJV and AJV that is external jugular vein and anterior jugular vein. So what is the course of EJV? It starts below the angle of mandible by the joining of the posterior section of the retromandibular vein and posterior auricular vein. So the, the retromandibular vein and the posterior auricular vein, they are the two main tributaries from which EJV is formed. You have to remember this. This is very important from examination point of view. After that, it runs under the cover of platysma muscle to pierce the deep cervical fascia in the anterior inferior angle of the posterior triangle, which is about 2.5 cm above the clavicle along the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and enters the supraclavicular space just about vertically downward across the sternocleidomastoid. So this is again a very important point uh, from a clinician point of view. The EJV, it enters the posterior triangle about 2.5 cm above the clavicle. At this point, it pierces the deep cervical fascia. It ends in the subclavian vein, that is, it joins the subclavian vein, that is, its last tributary after going through the space. The external jugular vein, it has huge difference in its size and course. As it comes down towards the heart, it provides the venous return to the right side of the heart and this causes a distension of the vein. Such a case is observed in uh, old age especially when the individual holds his breath or blows his cheek when his mouth is closed. Now this diagram shows a person who is lying at an angle of 45 degree. His veins are quite distended. You can see such cases in old people. Now this picture is quite beautiful. You can draw it in your, uh, uh, in your examination. You can see this picture. Now I will discuss about the surface anatomy of the EJV. EJV can be marked on the human body surface by a line going downward and backward from the angle of mandible to the middle of clavicle. So we have to draw a line which is going downward and backward starting from the angle of the mandible to the middle of the clavicle or mid third of the clavicle. There are various tributaries of the EJV. The two main tributaries are posterior auricular vein and the retromandibular vein from which it actually starts. There are also other tributaries uh, which are the posterior external jugular vein, the oblique, uh, the oblique jugular vein, the transverse cervical vein, the suprascapular vein and the anterior jugular vein. You have to memorize all these tributaries uh, from examination point of view. These are very important. Now I will highlight some key points of EJV. The posterior auricular vein, it descends behind the auricle to join the posterior section of the retromandibular vein. The posterior external jugular vein, it descends along the posterior border of the SCM to join the external jugular vein which is, which is a little below the midpoint of posterior border of the muscle. The oblique jugular vein interacts with all the internal jugular veins in the upper part of the neck. The suprascapular, transverse cervical and anterior jugular vein, they join the EJV in the posterior triangle. So the posterior triangle is a very important triangle because here EJV resides. So if you remember these uh, points, it is important from MCQ point of view also. There are just two pairs of valves in the lumen of the EJV. So only two valves are there. The first, valve, uh, the first valve is uh, when, where it enters into the subclavian uh, vein and the second valve is about 4 cm above the clavicle. And these valves do not prevent regurgitation of blood. Uh, this slide is about some clinical significance of EJV and it is really very much important. You have to remember all the points. The wall of the EJV is adherent to the deep fascia of the neck where it pierces the deep fascia about 2.5 cm above the clavicle. Because of this, if the EJV is cut at this site, its walls cannot fail. Air is sucked into the lumen because of negative intrathoracic pressure which results in venous air embolism which might cause passing later. So it can turn into very serious or fatal condition because of the negative intrathoracic pressure which can cause the suction, which can lead to suctioning of air inside the vein. The external jugular vein is sometimes utilized for central venous cannulation, uh, but because of its varying size and presence of valves, it's frequently hard to manipulate the cannula via the lower part of the vein. The right EJV being uh, in the most direct line together with the superior vena cava is the most generally utilized. 
so which rain is most uh, general which is which rain is most frequently utilized for central venous cannulation it is the right ejv the extrajugular vein is frequently examined by clinicians to measure the venous pressure in the right atrium normally in recumbent position that is when the patient is lying down or in supine position the lower one third of the vein becomes filled up with blood but it fails on reclining at 45 degree angle but if it stays complete even uh, when the patient reclines at 45 degree angle it proposes increased right atrial pressure which is frequently observed in congestive heart failure conditions so in a normal patient when the uh, person is lying down what happened the ejv is filled with venous blood but uh, when he is reclining at an angle of 45 degree uh, such a case is also present at that point but if it fails but that is if the venous filling fails at an angle of 45 degree it means that the person is having increased right atrial pressure and such a case is frequently observed in person who are suffering from congestive cardiac failure so these are few uh, points which are important from a clinician points of view and these are quite important points which generally come in your mcq exams and in your theory exams also so hope this video is very much useful for you all if you like this video please uh, like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such content thank you and keep watching